Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking weekly sell-off and possible investments for Serie A team of the season and even League 1 team of the season. We're going to be way early on some of these investments, but that is kind of where you have to be with a lot of these cards. The way the market moved last week, I want to get you guys prepped for this early because I know a lot of you guys are asking, can I invest in Serie A team of the season, or excuse me, Serie A out-of-pack special cards? As we head out of the weekend league, are they going to rise this week with link investments, all that sort of stuff? I want to talk to you guys about those things today in this video. League on though as well, because honestly, the earlier you go with some of the stuff, the better prices it seems that you're going to be getting. Because last week, and this is why I'm really starting to talk about this today, is because last week, example numero uno, when Bundesliga Tots came out was this Kingsley Coman card, right? Kingsley Coman's Road to the Final card on the market um, started off at, on the weekend league sell-off. Like Sunday night, this dude was like 110, 115K, and people were already starting to buy this card up. He's 120? Uh, what? 123, and it's been up for one hour. Interesting. Yeah, so this guy's about 120K at the moment, this Kingsley Coman card. Um, and he was all the way up to almost 150 before like the rewards time. Uh, and he actually dropped after rewards because so many people invested this card. It was over-invested. People bought him all the way up from 110 on like Monday morning, Sunday night, Monday night, all the way up to 140 at rewards, 150. And he didn't even rise. He actually went down in price. And I can show you his graph. I actually know his graph might be passed uh, because I have moved into a different day because it is now Sunday. So you see the Friday graph though, he's like 124,000 coins, 115K at one point. He was 140, 150 before week in the rewards. And then everybody who invested went out and listed the card and he actually went down in price. That happened with a couple different cards, the Costa as well. Uh, a lot of people, even I was thinking the Costa was a good investment last week with Bundesliga Tots. And he actually went down to rewards, which is what you see here. Like he Thursday, he was 166. It says Friday, 173. Um, but he really didn't, he actually didn't go down as much as Coman did. He stayed the same price though. He didn't go up any further than what he was. Cause he was 145 on the weekend league sell off and rose all week. That's why we're talking about Serie A today. And we're looking at link investments for Serie A out of pack special cards. Do I think this does well this week? I do think there's going to be ways and there's going to be times and areas and cards that you can find this week to invest in and make profit. Uh, on all sorts of different levels for Serie A. I know a lot of people have talked about Lozano for birthday, Lasagna for birthday, uh, Douglas Costa for birthday. I do like all of those cards, but if you if you want to invest in Serie A specials, um, what I would do is start looking at the ones that everybody wants to buy because they're going to be rising up during the week as everybody wants to buy them. They're going to be investing in them because this Lozano card was 69K already risen up and he's down in price. If you see this guy maybe in like the 50s, maybe the 50s on PlayStation today, I mean, I think a lot of the stuff that you want to do if you're going to buy a Serie A special card is you're going to want to start looking at those cards and buying them tonight, late Sunday into Monday. When you see fluctuations and see the cards get low, this is probably when other people are going to start buying as well. But you kind of have to start buying now to get ahead of the curve and get ahead of everybody else who wants to buy these cards to make coins this week, right? Because people still want to make coins in this game. This is another one. Hatebauer, Hans uh, Hatebauer, however you say his name. Hatebauer was 140 last week. Boomed in the investing stage, right? People bought this card up last week all the way up to 170. 170,000 coins because he's like one of the only right backs in the Serie A. What happens? Friday comes, my man is dropping. A lot of over investing. Some people lost coins here. Is this a buy again? I think it is. There's only two right backs in the Serie A with um, Hattebauer and um, I really don't know how to say that guy's name. Uh, this guy and the new right back Quadrado, which I think is a better card and I think a lot more people are going to use this card since it's basically the same price. This is probably still an investment though because it's going to rise into Wednesday. For some stuff that you see a large rise on as we head into Wednesday, Thursday with rewards, and that's what I'm going to talk about with some of these Serie A cards, um, we're probably going to end up selling in the hype with a lot of this stuff. We're going to sell before rewards on Thursday, maybe sell some before rewards and sell some after. Um, like 
Erickson hasn't gone up that much. He was actually 100k flat to 118. Um, rose up this week a lot already, which is interesting. He was 100k flat, so he hasn't really moved that much. Um, so if there are Serie A cards that you want to look to invest in, I would do that on uh, Sunday night into Monday. I do think it's a decent shout. I do think it's a decent shout, but I don't know how many of them I would try to keep and sell after rewards on Thursday because these TOTS cards are so stinking cheap, bro. Why would you buy another uh, Serie A special card to link? Um, a lot of the positions are filled in this team. What are we, what are we lacking? We're lacking right back. We're lacking left back. We only have one of those. We have five center backs or four center backs in this TOTS squad with uh, Smaldini, Manalas, DeVry, and Acherbi. Uh, left wing at a cheaper level, like a left wing in the Serie A might be a decent investment. Uh, so maybe what you could do is, this is what I often do, is go to FIFA, uh, go to Footbin, right? Go to FIFA 20 Players tab right up here. Drop this down. We're going to go to Leagues, uh, Serie A. And I know that looking at this team, we're lacking again, uh, right back, left back, and then left wing, right wing. Because we've got left wing Insigne and we have right mid Berardi. And that's it for right wings. And we haven't had any SBCs for right wings either. We've only had a CDM center mid SBC. So let's go position. Let's go right wing first. See what we have, which is why everybody's saying Lozano, right? Because Lozano is an OP, pretty cheap, usable card as a right wing. He's one of the only ones, bro. Think about it this way. You've, you've got a Nangola in, Nangolan in form. Uh, and you've got Lozano, like Lozano and Berardi. This is why a lot of people are talking about this Herving Lozano card being a good investment this week with the link to Allen with the um, cheap price and being one of the only right wings in the Serie A. So that's a great, I honestly think Lozano is gonna be a fantastic investment this week. Uh, I think he is going to rise in the hype because everybody is gonna be shouting this guy as an investment. I would try to get him down low around 60,000 coins if you can. Looks like right now he is 65K. The closer to 60K that you can get for this card, the better, maybe try to win some open bids late night, tonight into tomorrow. Somebody just binned that for 70K. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, watch people as they sell off this card from the weekend league. If you can snag them in the low 60s, I would highly recommend doing that because this card's probably going to be upwards of maybe 80K on Wednesday as so many people just go out and buy this card and you might be able to make a quick 10K a card. He's actually 70K. What is going on right now? Who's uh, buying up all the Lozanos? Anyways, uh, since this guy's the only right wing in the Serie A. Ooh, 61? See, look, dude. There's people sniping this card on a Saturday night. Saturday night, bro. They're sniping this Lozano. This guy's going to be so heavily invested in. But if you can get some cheap ones, he's going to rise to Thursday. And I think you sell. I think you sell before awards Wednesday night, Thursday. Uh, because that's when this card's going to probably hit its peak. I just don't think there's a lot of hype for Serie A tots. Um, which I think you can make some money by investing in these out-of-pack specials. Um, some of them will go up after rewards, for sure. Like a Douglas Costa might go up after rewards because of his links. The Brazilian links to the Allen card that a lot of people are doing. Um, and other stuff like that. He's 330 right now. If you can catch this guy at 320 or below, which he was on Saturday at one point. Again, look at open bids as Weekend League sell-off is going on. People are open bid listing cards because they're just done. They just list it up. They get their coins or whatever. I kind of like Douglas Costa. This would be one I would hold for after rewards probably unless you see him go up a lot. But I just don't know how much hype there is uh, for the Serie A. I don't know how many people would be building teams this week um, with Serie A cards that are specials and out of packs. I just feel like they would go use a TOTS card instead. There aren't many positions that are not covered with tots like this dibala is 935k he's probably going to end up being below 900k at some point this weekend i don't think there's a lot of hype for the Serie A tots which why i think you want to sell in the hype before rewards and just be careful with the cards that you do that you do choose to invest in for Serie A. so do some more research on the market like i showed you using the the uh, pages over here in footbin by position right let's go position let's go left back because We've got Teo Hernandez. We've got Alexandro SBC, SBC, uh, Alexandro's gold card. You know, maybe we go for left wing as well. Who do we have at left wing? We've got Insigne, Costa, uh, a lot of SBCs. Mertens, 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 Mertens. This is a guy that I think a lot of people are going to invest in. He went up a lot already. Um, this could be a decent one if he drops back in like the 130 range. He was 150, 160 on Friday. 
This Mertens right here was 320. I bought him for 240 last week. If this guy hits like 270, then I could see him going back over 300 maybe after rewards. That's a card that I would say is um, kind of a an outlier, one that could rise after rewards on Thursday. And then maybe you look at some of the highest other rated versions of these cards, like um, other versions of Ronaldo's could go up. To the Tara Hernandez for birthday, I don't know about that. That'd be a tough one. Nine Golan. 800k for nine going right now. He's getting panic sold a lot. This guy was 1.03 mil earlier tonight. I might try to actually flip this guy into Sunday uh, because literally look at this graph. He was 900k and I watched him sell right before the content dropped today. Multiple of them sold at 1.03. He went down to 880, went back to 950 and now he's down to 795. I think this is getting really cheap for nine going so what i might do right now this is kind of ballsy because he's in packs of course tomorrow is sunday or today is sunday and um this is kind of getting ballsy out here but what i might do i'm gonna pick that 795 up because i think there's a very high possibility that this card tomorrow morning could be in the mid to upper 800k range which would be profitable so i'm gonna see how many cards we have to like 870 because what do we have like 40k of tax here how many cards do we have to 870k not a lot. Wow. Okay. So if we have hype into Sunday, like we had um, into Saturday with Nangolan, I'm taking a big risk here, but we're going to go for it, man. 795. I mean, that's crazy. Last night I was almost buying it for 900K and I should have bought it for 900K, but I didn't. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, Nangolan's headliner is not a bad shout either uh, because it's a lot cheaper than this next team of the season card. I think the headliner is somewhere around like... Um, I think this guy's somewhere around like 2 230 220 i would try to snag this guy under 220 if you could like uh 220k might be and that's not bad right there a nine going for 220 on the dot with the shadow this guy's probably going to be 250 260 again headed into weekend league because if you're going to use nine going you can't afford the tots this is the one that you're going to use because he's a staple in syria squads right there but i've been talking a lot about syria i want to talk about league un league un yes you heard me. Why are we going to invest in Liga so early? Well, because if you don't buy them this weekend or head into this week, uh, you're going to be looking at possibly seeing these cards rise on Thursday with rewards, kind of like a lot of the Serie A cards did, and then uh, maybe never reach that price again, kind of like Nico Schultz last week uh, with the Bundesliga. And of course, what's going to happen during Liga Un is there's going to be a lot of hype, a lot of hype for French players and for Ligue 1 links to Mbappe, to Neymar, to Ben Yedder. So the French nationality is going to be big during Ligue 1, which I'm going to talk about a lot in the coming weeks. But if you want to buy some Ligue 1 special cards, right? I mean, there's a few of them out there. There's a few of them out there. Ligue 1 doesn't have a ton of specials, I feel like. Um, but some of the ones that I think could be good, this Akone card could be pretty good. It's been a beast all year. And I'm actually... One of my favorites is Moses Simon. Moses Simon's Tots card. He's already up 20K on the weekend. This guy was 125K midweek. Uh, I think he's like 150-ish right now, 140. This is a guy that I would heavily, heavily look at this weekend. He's probably not getting re-released into League on Tots, but I would look to buy this card midweek of this week because people are going to start buying these up. And this is a card a lot of people might want to use in their league on teams if they can't afford a Neymar or an Mbappe or even as a super sub um, if they want to play him. Uh, I would highly recommend getting interested in this dude in the 130,000 coin range on the PlayStation. Like, let's look at his graph, right? Let's take a peek at his graph because this guy used to be 340k during uh, Tots community, right? Tots community, this guy was 340,000 coins, 375 at one point, right? He was 125 last week on Thursday. He's risen up in the weekend league. But even earlier on Saturday, he was 132,000 at his lowest, right? 133K. Watch for more prices like that. On the Xbox, try to get him at like low 80s if you can. Low 80s if you can. Uh, but this would be a card that I think would rise a lot with League on, league on Tots. And again, think about just French cards in general because that are going to be a lot of the links that people need during league on team of the season but you know other guys people have said like renato sanchez right renato sanchez as an 86 left back position change shapeshifter is this a good investment it's possible he's already up 10,000 coins on both consoles he's up 40k to where he was at 30 if you see low 30s 
I think this is a buy. Whether he gets a tots or not, this is a position change, and there's not a lot of left backs, and this is a solid card for an 86 rated with that kind of stats, solid card. This could be a good one as well. I know these are investments that a lot of people might have shouted already, but when you're investing in League Gun, since you really need to have those strong links, because, you know, besides um, Moses Simon, a lot of the players you're going to be investing in are probably French. You really want to make sure that they are French and that they are just just hype, right? Maybe like this Bernat. People have been talking to me about Bernat um, as an investment at 27K. That's not bad. Um, like even Lala's right back card is an in for him. It's probably not the worst thing ever because he's only got SBCs. Now we'll probably get Tots cards for somebody, you know, and have a team this season. We'll fill a position in there. But um, just start to look at some of the OP cards that you could invest in. Um, you maybe maybe a Di Maria, right? Maybe a Filberte Di Maria. Maybe a Wissam Benyetta right wing card. I would expect that card to rise a decent amount for Liga and Tots. But if you want to invest in some of the specials, which am I going to do it? I might do it a little bit, man. But honestly, this week, I feel like I'm just going to buy a bunch of rares um, on Wednesday for the Thursday upgrade packs. I might buy a few specials, but I feel like a lot of people are trying to get into the special investing that if you're going to be doing it, that's why I'm so set on selling before rewards for most cards uh, as we head out through the week. I'll be looking at a lot of the special cards as we do go throughout this week. I'll be looking at like guys like Hans. I'll be looking at Douglas Costa. You know, I'll be looking at all of these cards that we've been talking about and say, hey, um, maybe this is something we can invest in. This is something to look at and stuff like that. I'll be looking at all of these cards. But um, what I would say is start to do your research, right? Start to do your research. Look uh, on Footbin, find cards that are good value and that are hype, that are linkable and that are in a position where there's not a really good or cheap or plentiful amount of TOTS players from the Serie A. That's what I would look for today and tomorrow, Sunday night into Monday. Uh, with these cards probably dropping as well, I would expect a lot of these to continue dropping. Maybe a couple rebounds, like I said, on Nangolan. I think he's pretty cheap. Uh, dropping into Sunday night, that's something. And then one last thing I want to talk about at the end of this video. Liga NOS Team of the Seasons. Are these investable? There's two cards in here, maybe three, that I would be interested in investing in out of packs, all right? Corona, 30,000 coins, both consoles, maybe in the 20s on Xbox. This guy's getting a lot of hype for being a very good value player. I would be very interested in snagging this guy right around 30K if you could or under if there's lighting rounds, if there's some more panic selling because these guys go out of packs uh, on Monday, right? So I'd be interested in that. Tellez, very interested in. This guy was 500K, 500K right before um, Tots Syria came out. He's now 388 from weekly league sell-off. If somehow this hits 350, uh, I will definitely be buying some because this left back is incredible. He's so very, very good. Uh, and I think I might just have him in my team for a while. I know I don't buy players for my team. I've had uh, the headliner tell us for a long time. He's fantastic. I don't know about Rafa or G Gabriel. Some people have been talking about this Gabriel card, and he's very good. You know, 50,000 coins. Why not just buy a couple of them? It's kind of like the um, situation we had last week with Mariano. Just Brazilian links. Very easy to link. Very good looking card. Uh, it looks like today, yeah, low 50s, man. 50k or under on the playstation and then probably like maybe a 40 45 on the xbox is what i would say try to snag maybe one or two of these guys if you want but if there's any of these cards you want to invest in probably tonight during squad battles is the time and uh those are kind of the cards that i would be looking at today we'll be covering the specials even more as we go throughout this week but seriously start to plan start to look at cards look at open bids because this is probably going to be the time where you want to buy a lot of special cards from the syria and even the league on for this next week and a half time period on foot. So that's why I'm talking about a lot of investing type stuff tonight with those cards. I just got myself a second Douglas Costa for 321. 1000 coins more than I really wanted to pay, but I could see this guy being 350, 360 by the time we hit uh, later this week. So, because uh, that's a very hyped up card. People maybe want to try out Dybala. Maybe this is a guy they put beside him. So that's why I'm kind of buying a card like this. So, just watch out for that kind of stuff. We'll be covering it more throughout the week this week. Good luck finishing up your weekend league games. I am currently 10 and 2. Uh, I was 9 and 1, had a loss, got one more win after that, though. I would love to hit elite. I don't know if we're going to go for it this weekend. We're kind of behind on games. We'll see. 
I would love to hit elite. Maybe get like a uh, tradable Ronaldo. Imagine the scenes. Nah, man. I want to pack Ronaldo untradable this week. Add him to that co tots counter down below. That'd be very lucky if we did it. But we'll be hitting a lot of upgrades later in the week this week. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.